The graduation ceremony is the coming together of family and community, and it's to celebrate our young developing artists' progression through the course. I think the most important thing that I see in the graduation day is thinking back to when they first came to NASDA as young adults and seeing them leave as, you know, young mature adults. A student who graduates from NASDA almost instantly becomes an ambassador for Australia and our connection to that 70,000 years, those 2,000 generations of lived culture on this land. This is a really special day for all of us, celebrating four years of being at NASDA. It's been such an amazing journey. Without further ado, we have our diplomas to receive their certificates. NASDA has been a really big important part of my life. Coming up all the way from Broome, Western Australia. Coming to meet all these beautiful people who want to like push us to become better than what we are and to help us make our dream come true. Now I got a scholarship in the Russell Page for Bangara, so I just came back from regional tour and then came back from the Commonwealth Games. Now we are creating our new work. It's yeah, really important because it's more like closure that we're finally finished and that we all come back together and celebrate. So I got the Russell Page Scholarship Graduate Program. So that's at Bangara and that's for this year and hopefully um, then I can get a contract after that. I learned a lot of things at NASA, especially culturally and it's just a really great way to make a lot of connections with a lot of different people. I performed in Hawaii, I performed at Commonwealth Games and I've also been teaching a few workshops here and there, so getting a lot of different work, which has been really great. It's played a huge role in my journey. Uh, it was four years of my life and I've learned so much, not only through dancing, but learning how to be an adult as well. So basically I grew up here and it was like, I learned so much life skills as well as dance. So it's taught me so much. I just finished working at the Commonwealth Games with the artistic director of Atamira, Jack Gray. And we've just been working on a, a piece called Interwoven. It's helped me with technique and it's also helped me with finding myself and who I am as a dancer. Work-wise, I'm working with Sunny Townsend and in two weeks I'll be heading to China for a tour. I think there's several pathways. We know that the dance world one is very small. We know that the um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander dance world is even smaller. So we've got to give our young developing artists, as we call them, many, many avenues in which for them to succeed. Of the 16 dancers or 17 dancers in Bangar, there's nine that come from NASA, so that's a pretty good record. And also you can't go past um, Stephen Page, who's the artistic director and visionary of Bangar, who um, is a NASA graduate as well. We've been delivering a solid program for the last 42 years with our young people going out into the world and doing great things. These young people are getting an experience and a cultural immersion that other young kids aren't getting. It's continuing a narrative that has been in this land for longer than anywhere else in the world. And that diplomatic mission that these students are on is such an important one for Australia.